This is Alan Bush with ADMIS and the Stock Index Futures. Seeing prices just mixed this morning, it looks like all four of the early morning economic reports did come in a bit weaker than expected, including the fourth quarter gross domestic product coming in up 0.4%. The guess was up 0.5%. Also, we had an increase in jobless claims up 16,000. So we'll see how futures respond to this unbalanced bearish news with what we're seeing today. Don't forget, at some point, the Fed will have to limit and ultimately end the quantitative easing program. One of the more recent surveys suggested that the Fed in the fourth quarter of this year will start scaling back their quantitative easing program, and in the first half of next year, it could end altogether. Over in the currency markets, seeing the euro currency trading a little bit stronger this morning, Basically, this is linked to no new problems in the Eurozone. Of course, we do have Cypriot banks reopening today. There appears to be few problems. Over in the British pound, some mild gains linked to better than expected economic news from the UK, although the fear remains that the UK could slip into a triple dip recession. Also, we're seeing some mild gains in the Japanese yen as funds flee the problems in the Eurozone. The yen is seen as a flight to quality currency, so we have seen some strength recently in the yen for that reason. However, strength there is being limited by prospects of a new round of quantitative easing that could possibly come from the Bank of Japan after their policy meeting concludes next week. Now, they had pre-announced an asset purchase plan that would not go into effect until next year. The talk is now that it could, could be implemented much sooner. So that is a bearish development from an interest rate differential point of view. So from here, we look for higher prices in the US dollar index, lower prices in the yen, and lower prices in the pound. Over in the credit markets, we are seeing some mild gains that are linked to the four weaker than anticipated economic reports here this morning in the US. However, this is being offset by flight to quality long liquidation in light of no new major problems from the Eurozone today. Longer term, we feel that the main trend is lower for the Treasury futures market, especially at the long end of the curve at the 30-year maturity. Once again, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.